Okay, so now we're joined by Sasha Lord, founder of Park Life and The Warehouse Project. Now, Sasha's been in the music and promotions industry for 25 years. That is when Energy 52 released Café Del Mar. Good fun fact for you there. So, Sasha, here we are, Park Life 2018. What's new this year? What's going on? So, um, I think as you've probably seen, as you were here yesterday as well, I think we spent a lot more time and energy on the production side of it. So you've got the new stage, the valley, down at the bottom, where that's the money shot, um, which we're really proud about. And we didn't, when we were doing the build-up, we were showing pictures of what was going on on site and everything. That was the one thing we kept away from, because we wanted a big, a big surprise, but it's gone down really well. Brilliant. Now, obviously, you've been made Nighttime Economy Advisor. Now, this is not just bars and clubs in Manchester. It's great in Manchester. It's theatres. It's... it's um, no, it's all 10 boroughs and it's, um, I mean, I said it this week, but the, you know, the nighttime industry is the fifth biggest sector in the UK and employs north of 8% of the whole of the UK workforce. So it can't be ignored and sometimes people do ignore it because when you go for a meal with your friends and your family or you go to the theatre, the disco or something like that, it's seen as a bit of fun. So it's never really high up on uh, certainly politicians' agendas, but Andy recognised it during the elections last year. He said he wanted to help the industry in Manchester and uh, you know, he's kept to his word. So um, you know, there's, a lot, there's a lot to do. I mean, it was quite an honour, really, to receive that. I mean, obviously, look at this festival. It's the biggest non-camping festival in the UK. And, you know, he's obviously recognised that. But obviously there's things like pressing subjects, like transport on an evening, getting home, not just safe, but, you know, it's an early tram, last tram home, you know, and the trains. And what does he, how are you going to kind of advance and work on, like, the transport on an evening? So, um... I mean, first it was an honour. I was really chuffed. I think, you know, I'm not a transport expert. I think my views are out there because I, I came out last year and said quite a few things about the transport that the press reported on. So what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is get like a board together, a panel of um, representatives of the nighttime industry, key, key stakeholders as well, of which one of them will be Transport to Greater Manchester. And we're just going to talk about what we can do to try and improve everything for customer experience. And it's not just the customer, you've got to think about the nighttime workers as well, so people that work in bars, um, and nurses that work in the hospitals, you know, they need to get home at early hours in the morning. So, you know, transport is on, on the agenda, but there's a, there's a good positive conversation to have about it. Well, I think you're probably one of the first choices because this here, I'm, I was so impressed by the production of this whole place, and it's such on a grand scale, that to handle something like that, that must be a massive, a massive thing. And obviously working with different departments and experts. Um, but also something I noticed is that every, it feels quite safe here. Is that something that you'll be working with as well with the mansion? Yeah, so, um, you know, with police will be on the board, there'll be representatives of the NHS on board, but safety is always my number one concern. And yesterday we had, <clears throat> we were really fortunate to have 80,000 people turn up. 80,000 people all went home, they had a great time, and I'd like to think it's exactly the same again today. And we put in, so, I mean, you've seen the extent that we go to on site to try and make it as safe an experience as possible. Uh, you've seen the amount of police here, the amount of paramedics here, the amount of sniff dogs here. We've got literally a hospital on site. But it's only, to, and we put all the warnings out leading up to the festival about you know, bad batches of pills and things like that. And it just takes one person to ignore it and go for it, and it ruins, obviously their lives but you know there's a knock on effect for many other people as well now you've come a long way since putting up the posters at the hacienda going in your dad's suit for the first time and thank you soap you know you've gone through all these eras um i want to ask what's next for you really um so i've been i was contacted last week by play girl for um, a shoot and naked spread which is something that I'm, I'm going to accept. Um, and I've been angling for it for a while now, but uh, listen up the PR companies have agreed to it. So, yeah. I look forward to seeing that. I'm taking the piss, clearly. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, yeah. I'm going to go with it. No, I just, I'm happy where I am. You know, Park Life, biggest metropolitan festival in the UK, warehouse projects known globally. I'm not being big headed, it's not my words, it's what what's said you know, amongst the dance music industry. So. I've got the night roll to now think about, so I've got enough on my plate. Yeah. Obviously, we're from I Love Manchester. Tell us about your love for Manchester and why you've got to keep Park Life here. It's just 
you know, Sam and I were both, Sam's a business partner, we were both from Manchester, Greater Manchester, Altrincham. So um, our roots are here and we just love the city. And again, I said it before, you know, I never got to go to university because I didn't get the A-levels needed. Uh, but the city allowed me to flourish and do exactly what I really enjoy. Um, to put on an event, working in the music industry, meeting amazing people like yourselves, and it's just, um, it's not a real job, is it? You know, it's, it's, I couldn't sit behind a desk nine to five. I just no. could not handle that. No. Um, and I know it's for lots of people, but I just couldn't do it. So now it's my chance to get something back to the city. I love that. That's a great ending, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much, Sasha. I hope you enjoy the final day of Park Life. Have a boogie, get to have a relax and a drink. Liam Day. Liam, Liam Day. Day. Ooh, yeah. It is. Okay. Um, so he's renamed it on socials. Have you seen that? I've seen it. It's come out and says he thinks the name of the festival is crap, Park Life, because of the blur oh, Park Life I thing. Oh. But he's um, just for today, he's going to rename it Park Life. Parker life. I love it because it was the rivalry in the yeah. 90s blurring I away. things up, but there you go. Isn't it? No, Spencer. this is it. It's <laughs> still going on. Parker life. Parker life. Sunday okay. is Parker life. See you, Liam. Thank Parker you. Life. Cheers, Sasha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.